so apparently we're not done with the sing-off <laughs> we got final performances thank you for uh, to the people who sent me these links uh this is the first of that performance without you by david Guetta and usher and then there's another one they do with nicholas shea i believe so let me check these out these do, did not influence uh the the competition because it was after the winner was announced or not after the winner was announced but at least after the voting i believe i also will check out the video that uh that the winners are announced uh, so let's go we're here at the trevor project to lend our voices to stopping bullying and to prevent suicide among youth Welcome, Pentatonix. It's oh, so great wow. to see you. The Trevor Project is the leading national organization providing crisis intervention and suicide prevention for youth. Come on. Being one of the youngest groups on the Sing Off, we can relate to the bullied kids. So we're going to do a mm. public service announcement and meet with kids who are feeling isolated. See one, take two. Hi. Wow, that's beautiful. And um, yeah, that's something that's also near and dear to my heart because uh, I've lost many people, friends and family to this. And yeah, you could see even uh, people I don't know you're, you're around you, you know, in the vicinity, you know, friends of friends, and even more if I if I'm gonna count those. So it's it's truly a heartbreaking thing, and it's uh, man, young people have it hard sometimes, yo, and uh, they feel like they don't have anybody to turn to, and you know. That's heartbreaking, man. That's heartbreaking. It's, it's good that there's uh, organizations out there and, and that people support that and bring more light to it. You know, if you have uh, a following and audience, I believe even more should be done. But it's already great that it's out there. It's 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 everywhere, man. Here in Europe, here in, in, in the UK, in, in the US. and Man. Isolated. See one, take two. Hi, we are Pentatonix. No matter what you're going through, know that you're not alone. Visit thetrevorproject.org to learn more. It's amazing that there's a charity like The Trevor Project that reaches out to these kids who really need someone to vent to about anything. We have talked about ways to help somebody who is thinking about suicide. I want to ask if you have experienced being mistreated. I was always like a lot taller than all of my friends. A lot of the guys would often make jokes about how I looked and my friends all laughed. I felt really isolated. I just didn't have anyone to turn to. It seems like everyone, you know, kind of feels powerless. I was made fun of a lot for, uh, for being Jewish. And I just feel like anyone that's made fun of um, shouldn't be for being different. It's nice to see you know, people such as Pentatonics who are inspirational and they might have been in your shoes at one point and you're not alone. The dog days are over. The dog days are done. I was teased in middle school because of my voice. Now I'm a finalist on the sing off, so things really do get better in mm -hmm. big ways. Yeah. And you can't give up because someone tries to tear you down. That's a great perspective there. And that's the people that you really need. And it's tough, you know, because when I was a kid, I probably wouldn't have listened. That's the problem, how you get through to these, you know, because it's one ear in, the other out. And now that I do have that perspective, just like Mitch, because you've, you've gotten through it and it's hard to offer it to somebody when they're in it. And that's the thing that I'm, I'm really, I try to, Think about how can I get through somebody who's going through it because I know it's so hard to do that. That shell is not there. They cannot yet see that light at the end of the tunnel. And most of us who've gone through, we know that it's there. We don't know the path for everybody, but we know if they stay the course, they can get there. Uh, problem is that person can't see it. I couldn't see it. I didn't think it would be. Mitch maybe. You know, he might have had those moments like, oh, man, how is this? It, when you're young, you think that's forever. And that's when you start, you know, making uh, bad decisions sometimes. Uh, damn, yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's the toughest question for me. How do you offer that perspective? You know, you know, I had a lot of issues, you know, with racism when I was young, but that even, you know, I don't know. There was so many things going on when I was a kid. Uh, maybe that was even the least of my problems. Uh, yeah. Wow. 
that's beautiful man that they're doing that and uh yeah you see he's getting teased for his voice and and now he has one of the best voices Someone out there to tear you down. they've spread an important message and now they'll inspire us with a song performing without you by david getta featuring usher here is pentatonix yeah. <laughs> oh, that ending there was powerful. They really put uh, their, you know, that emotion in there. There were certain parts in there that I said, hmm, th that sounds a little chaotic. Uh, but man, I've never looked at this song this way with, with this context now. And, you know, if it gets known for, of course, electronic music, Usher, almost R&B, and... You know, you hear the words, you hear it. it's not the usual happy-go-lucky stuff. But now with this context, it, it it really turned for me. And now, wow, without you, I can never do this without you. It never really uh, hit me uh, up until now. And like I always say, I said this many times, you know, when you're making that final decision to, to step out of this thing, uh, you're not getting rid of the pain. You're only moving it. And of course, I don't want to guilt trip anybody uh, into staying uh, here. But uh, yeah, if you stay a little longer, you might uh, see a hint of that light and then just uh, grab onto it, man. And don't let go. The emotion, the emotion. Mitch was great. That voice. Come on. Panatonics with another stellar performance. Great job, guys. Judges, what makes Panatonics one of the top three vocal groups in America? Sarah? Ugh, you guys are making me cry already. Yeah. It's gonna be a man. long night. Get out there of is just there's one word that describes you guys, and it's daredevils. You guys take big risks, and it always pays off big time. I mean, you take these songs apart, you put them back together, and it always delivers. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Ben. Avi and Kevin, you're a sick bass drum combo, guys. <laughs> Butt-shaking bass. 
And the whole group delivers surprises, like every 8, 16 bars. It's like you don't know what's coming next. You guys always pull a surprise. And in the middle of that stuff, your delivery is focused and heartfelt. You still fill the songs. So you guys are amazing. Other than that, you're awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean. The cool thing about you guys is that it's just, you know, not just one soloist, but it's three. So I'm going to talk about you guys in the middle. Uh, Kirsty. You always had this sweet yet sassy style that adds to the vocals like you're amazing. Mitch, I don't care what those people that used to tease you, now they're sitting there watching you on a sing-off. So, ah! Yeah. He who laughs, 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 laughs. He who laughs, 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 best laughs, and then all the laughs, I, I never, I can never say it in one go. <laughs> yeah, but they said like uh, Kevin and Avi were the meat and potatoes and and I said, well, the vegetables are important. And people explained to me what that meant, but I, I knew what it meant, but I was just trying to make a joke that didn't land. And of course, uh, we have vegetables. They're, they're in the middle there, <laughs> which are also important. Uh, yo, yeah, sometimes, you know, these jokes, they don't land. I know. Uh, I got the tough crowd downstairs, man. And they let me know. They let me know. <laughs> like my daughter's like, what? Dad? <laughs> yeah, Mitch, let's go. Your voice is gorgeous. It's a beautiful voice. And Scott, you're just ridiculous. <laughs> so, I mean, basically, I mean, you guys are amazing. And Pentatonix, from the beginning, you guys blew me away from the gate. Yeah. And you continue to do it. Amazing. All right, thanks, judges. Hey, was Sean like the first Pentaholic? Unofficially? Officially, maybe? I don't know. And Pentatonix will be back later to join me in turning up the heat to, well, I don't know, 98 degrees. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Great job. Oh, yeah. Remember, the unforgettable music you hear tonight will be available for download on iTunes. And when the sing-off returns, the hip-hoppers of Urban Method get our hearts beating, and the Dartmouth Bears unleash their inner rock gods. Plus, we'll be joined by a genuine music legend, the godfather of Motown, Smokey Robinson. Now, put us into the break, the handsome fellas of BYU's vocal form. Awesome. Great voice too. Hey, this was amazing, especially with that message at the beginning there. I really, I am glad that I checked this one out just for that alone. Uh, you know, it can, uh, it's, uh, great to see that, that they, uh, that they did that, especially, you know, this show probably had so many viewers and, uh, if it, if it even only helps one person, man, it's just, come on. You know, because that ripple effect is big, especially when it comes to young people. Beautiful. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. Respect to uh, the people that did this. And uh, yeah, I cannot stress that enough. Reach out if you need it. Communication. That's where it's at. Even though it's hard. It's, uh, it's one of the hardest things, maybe. To ask for help. But once you get over that, a uh, little bump there. Uh, your way, you're on the way to the light, to the end there, man. And and around the corner, there might be better things. So uh, keep at it, stay the course. Thanks for being here. Peace.